Hey everybody, ready for another workbench review? And there's the workbench, and as you can see it's an RC car workbench. And before I do the review I want to tell you a quick story. The story involves this RC car in a cement base to a light pole. And a teenage son. And what happened is, by mistake, at a very high speed, teenage son ran this car into a light pole. and. I, I fixed it mostly, but I realized afterwards that I had another piece that I needed. So I need to install these two pieces. Now, same son ran the car through the mud and stuff. And you can imagine where this is going where now I want to work on it and I'll have to pick up the car and do stuff. And even normally with RC cars, these tires can get kind of dirty and stuff. So if you got something nice like this, you don't want to get stuff all over it. And, and this is not the only case. You might have other cases where you're working on crafts, woodworking, other things where not only do you not want to get it dirty, you don't want to puncture your shirt and stuff. And I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm down here in the basement, it's a little cool. So in comes this great Tip Kits, can you see this? Tip Kits Premium Work Apron. See that, let me bring it back a little bit there. Comes in a really nice box. And the only reason I mention that is because this will end up being a good gift. If you open it up, you can see it's a nice box. And even inside, throw the box over there, just a nice little package. So if you want to give this as a gift to somebody for Christmas or Father's Day or for their birthday or whatever, um, or Mother's Day, um, it's a good one. So let's go ahead and open it up, take a quick look at it. I've got the listing open over here so that I don't miss some things. But in the package, I think there are only going to be two things, if I can get it out. Okay, go like that. Probably only going to be two things. The apron, of course, and this is a. Let's see, is it? It's got an introduction. Talks about clean. Oh, let me see if I can keep this open. Talks about cleaning and care. Um, talks about structure. Talks about how shoulder pads, something that I'm looking and checking out. And then talks about all the various pockets. I can't see what I'm showing you right now. My hands in the way. Uh, all the various pockets and stuff on it. So. Nice little card to go with it. I will keep it. I've got a drawer for those type of things. Let's go ahead and open it up. What's nice about this, I've got another apron that kind of, it just covers the torso. This one's a bit longer. You can get in cases where you're doing stuff and this is the area that's damaged. I've got one that comes down uh, probably about here, but doesn't cover any of the legs. And now I am six foot four. That's why I'm so much over the camera. I'm six foot four or if I've been shrinking, say 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 but originally 6'4". Now let's go ahead and show you some stuff about this. This is, I think they said it's waxed. Let me double check here. Made of heavy duty wax canvas. So let me bring this closer so you can take a look at the fabric. Do you see that there? See that's very, very nice. Here are those padded shoulders it talked about. And anybody who has used anything that goes over the shoulders can attest to a little strap like this can get a little annoying after a period of time and actually painful. But even look at some other stuff. Now I hadn't opened this up before. I'd opened the box to stuff something back in one of the edge things was coming out. But other than that, I didn't look at this at all. But look at that nice metal right there. Can you see that? A nice big circle there. Um, well, let's go ahead and put it on and talk about it some more here. Do I need to take the hat off first? That's the real question, right? Okay. Probably is wise. Let me take this hat off. Let's go like this. There we go. Yep, pull the hoodie through. Okay, where does the hoodie go? There we go. That's real work. Okay, and then as you can see here, buckle strap. I don't know if I need to loosen it, probably do. I'm not small. I am also around 235 pounds as of recording this video. Let's see, make sure I've got everything set up here, right? So I'm assuming this goes, see that there? Assuming that goes in the back a bit. Shoulder straps up back where they belong. Let's see if I can get this. Can you see what I'm doing here? I can't. I'm not watching the camera enough. 
There we go. I don't need to loosen it. I'm actually going to need to tighten it. And there you go. You don't see my head, but you see what's more important. Here, let me turn the part of the side here so you see more of this too. Can you see that? Now, pockets. This is to hold your cell phone. Good. Put. I've got a large one, so let me go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so I'm not going to say the brand because this is not, so it's not going to fit in any and every cell phone. This is a very large cell phone that I own. Again, I'm not going to say the brand stuff. It won't fit there, but otherwise, nice pocket for a cell phone. Can be used for other stuff. A couple pencil pockets. I think I had one about something that would hold like a cloth. Do you see that? Hold like a cloth. Um, let me look at the listing real quick here to see if I am missing anything else that it says. It would be good to show you says nine pockets of various styles and you can see that's pretty clear that's really nice i like this ability to put the hands in there um, look how deep and big these pockets are here uh, very nice so nine pockets various sizes embedded four magnets on the chest let's see i wonder where those are oh right there four magnets on the chest and this is nice i don't think i have anything that will well there you go <laughs> you're not going to put a bell there uh, but you can see the magnets are very powerful and hold very nicely. So four magnets on the chest. Um, contain soft shoulder pads. That is actually a very nice feature if you can see it. That's a very, very nice feature uh, that I haven't seen with a lot of other products. Quick release buckles. That's easy. Tell hanging ring. Um, Sawproof. Sawdust proof pockets. Okay, that makes sense. You see like these here? See the flaps? So that if you are spewing up sawdust, it's not going to get into these flaps. Um, this, you know, normally what I do is I, uh, you know, let me sit back down. Normally when I do a review, I, I do the, the unboxing and a quick description of things. Uh, but in this case, I don't need to. Uh, I will uh, hopefully be using this later today. It might be tomorrow to work on this here car. Um, but five stars. There's no question. I think right now this is running Let's see. It's got like an extra 5% off which would be I don't know. So let's say it's about 37 38 dollars right now on Amazon uh, <laughs> This is an incredible piece piece of clothing or whatever you would call it for that price uh, Anything else I should do um, 20 ounce heavy-duty wax canvas a double stitch um, which you can kind of see. Let me see if I can get closer now that I'm wearing it. Can you see the uh, double stitching there? Can you see that? Um, double stitching. Uh, you can see nice stitching inside too. See that there? This, I mean, even, even like, look at this. Here, let me see if I can bring it over. I can't see what you're seeing right now, but look how this loop, which is nice metal, nice looking metal. Look at this stitching here. Can you see that? They've, they've made this to last. This is, this is going to be a, around for a long, long, long time. So, folks, five stars. If I had a bigger thumbs, big thumbs up. Um, tip kits, you have done well. And Amazon, thank you. I did receive this, everybody, free as part of, part of the Amazon Vine review program so free for review it doesn't affect the review i am truly impressed i like this it looks good it's functional they thought about things like these pads on the top that's like i said i get you know lots of things that go over the shoulders or on the neck or whatever and they never think of including pads and yeah you can buy them but just provide them people will need them you can people don't want them can get rid of them but most normal humans after a while things are going to pull like this Nicely done. Tip kits, I look forward to seeing more of your products in the future. It's another brand that I can trust. We'll see you all again in another work table, workbench review here. Bye. Hey, I'm back. Shouldn't have run so quickly. Let me show you something else real quick. Then we'll really wrap up. Notice, uh, you know, I, I t talked about these cool holes, rings, whatever. But notice also, I hadn't even thought about these. See, I don't know names of stuff, rivets or whatever. Look at those. 
but you can just see how well done and how well built. Look at that on the back side. Can you see that and where there's stitching for the batteries and the pockets are? Really doesn't doesn't get better than this. Again, big thumbs up, five stars. Now I'm truly leaving. Bye.